Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to find out how effective Dr. PH Martin's Bombay Pen Cleaner is when it comes to cleaning India ink of my glass dip pen and also this metal nib. India ink contains shellac which dries to form a protective coating over the pigment which is why such inks are waterproof when dry. Now this protective coating is very strong. When it coats the surface of your glass dip pen or your metal nib, sometimes it can be almost impossible to even use your fingernails to scratch off that coating because it is so strong. This is how the original glass dip pen looks like and this is how it looks like when coated with India ink. And some of the ink, they will harden to form some ink crust or ink blobs and that prevents the ink from flowing so if you want to get your pens to be working again you have to clean them there used to be a little breather hole here on this metal nib but now it's clogged with ink and this is the reason why you should not use india inks in your fountain pen it's going to basically destroy your fountain pen and this is not even going to come off even if you wash it with water. So nothing comes off. So it says here that this cleaner is good for inks, dyes, pigments, acrylates and watercolor. It does not harm metal pen parts. It's non-corrosive, non-toxic. And to use this, you should soak your pen parts and tip in the liquid. Now this bottle that I have, it only has 59 ml. So to clean this, I'm going to put this inside this container. And I'm also going to put this glass pan here. And I'm going to squeeze, put some pan cleaning liquid inside. And leave this to soak overnight. And we'll see if we can scrub off the ink tomorrow. So seconds after I put some liquid into this container, you can see some of the ink, it has already dissolved. So the red ink is actually the first ink that I used with this glass dip pen. And it really looks like it's dissolving the ink. So it seems like I may not need to wait until tomorrow liquid is obviously very effective let's see if i can clean this clean the ink off completely using this worn out brush that i have i wonder why there is foam so this brush is a bit soft it's not that easy to scrub off the paint but most of the paint has already come off so this is i would say this is clean enough so let's wipe this off and see what we have there is still some ink but if you have a much stiffer brush you should be able to scrub that off because once i dip this inside the liquid most of the ink has already dissolved so i'm pretty sure you can use a stiffer brush to scrub off the ink this is actually a disposable nib so there's actually no point cleaning this this liquid is i think more suitable for cleaning fountain pen nibs when you have your disposable nib like this you sh you can actually just throw it away i've just poured away the dirty liquid so now i'm going to add some more to this tray here and scrub this pen nib with brush. I'm going to use my glass dip pen to scrape off the ink. So there is a lot of ink, a lot of hardened ink on this metal nib. And you can see, can you see all those dirt? So apparently the brush is not this is the best I can do for this pen nib. Now this part here, I believe it's rust. I have been scrubbing this for 15 minutes and it still looks the same. So I don't think I will be able to scrub off the rust. But for the shiny parts, you can see most of the dried ink has already been removed. The breather hole here, 
you can now see through it it was clogged with ink earlier but now it's clear again so when you put the pen nib in the liquid some of the ink is going to dissolve but you will still need to scrub the pen nib in order to get it totally clean and this is the dirty solution you can see a lot of dust a lot of ink particles next let's see if we can use the cleaning liquid to clean this watercolor brush that has been soaked with india ink so the metal furrow here has been coated with ink as well but we don't need to clean this part we just need to clean the hair so when the hair was coated with ink it was really hard very stiff now that i have soaked this hair in the liquid it's now softer and i'm able to clean off some of the ink so seems fine seems to work here there is no mention of whether you can use the pen cleaner to clean the watercolor brush i'm not sure if it's going to affect the hair or the glue that's inside so definitely use this with caution when you are working with brushes i'm only using this because the brush hair here was soaked with india ink if it's just watercolor i'll just use the brush soap so i'm definitely very satisfied with the performance of dr ph martin's bombay pen cleaner now this is just one of many brands that make pen cleaning liquid the other brand that i know of is rotring so with the rotring pen cleaner and the bombay pen cleaner you can use them to clean pen nibs glass pens or technical pens if you want to get yourself a bottle i would suggest getting a bigger bottle this is the 59 ml bottle and it gets used up quite fast because when you dismantle your fountain pen when you put it all inside a tray you would actually use quite a lot of liquid in order to soak the pen nib so yeah get a bigger bottle so that's all for today's video i hope this is helpful thanks for watching see you in the next video bye